Hi my lovelies, so welcome back to my channel and for everybody who is new, I'm Leora and I'm so glad you found me. Okay, sweetie, <laughs> have you made it here because you love glitter or are you just here to hang out? Either way, hanging out or completely and totally in love with pressed glitter or loose glitter or anything that sparkles, you're super, super welcome here. And please, if you're new here, then please check out my channel. I am super much into colorful makeup, colorful styling, and that happens to also be my job because I'm a makeup artist and I'm a stylist with kind of my own taste, you know? So if you like that, then please check out my channel and subscribe because that would be awesome. And I think you will just get another place to hang out and just be happy. Okay, so today I'm also collaborating with a newfound friend of mine. I know her now for, I don't know, two, three, four months. Uh, you know, it's pretty new. It's pretty new. Uh, I think she, Steph, knows me a little bit longer. It's just that I'm cruising through the world being completely unaware of who likes me. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So that is just uh, because I'm so busy and I just also don't spend a lot of time online because I just can't. Not because I don't want to, I just can't. But I found her through um, actually being added to the same PR list and that was so great because Steph is amazing. Sweetie, I'm sure she doesn't want anyone to know, but I'm going to tell you just between us, you know, I think she's British royalty. Yeah, yeah, because you know what? She's from the UK, obviously, I just gave it away. But I think that she is so, so cool. She's also my age, you know, not like the youngest spring chicken anymore, like me. <laughs> you know? And um, that is so, so nice because I personally love that. I love it to find people who are my age, who are at the same level of experience, a life experience, and also already maybe a little bit more calmed down. Um, you might not think that I'm calm, but believe me, I'm actually pretty calm compared to what I used to be. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so anyway, today we are going to, both of us, Steph and I, we are going to collab and we are going to do a video about loving glitters, okay? Because we both do and we thought that would be just such a great idea to make a video on because I have never really dedicated a video just on my love for pressed glitters or, well, usually it's pressed glitters because that is the most of what I have, but you know, just take a general and let's say uh, glitters because for me, I love it. I love it. And that is what this whole video is going to be about. So if you personally don't love pressed glitters or glitters or whatever that sparkles or you can't wear it, but maybe you like it to see it on others, maybe we can just still hang out and uh, just, you know, because it's fun. Okay. Also, of course, once you're done here, then please go over to Steph's channel, which is going to be linked in the description box down below and show her some love and support subscribe to her too if you like the vibe and i i'm pretty sure you will okay so let's do it that way but first finish here <laughs> okay Okay, anyway, uh, let us go in. I'm also going to show you a few palettes of my most favorite uh, glitter formulas towards the end of the video. But first of all, I want to tell you a little bit about why I love pressed glitters, my pros and cons, because there is kind of also cons. Um, but uh, let's start maybe with the question, when did I start to like it? Because that is actually not, not too long ago. When I think of uh, when I started started my channel for example I I think I hadn't really found my way yet and my style yet and I when I talked about pressed glitters or palettes that included pressed glitters I was always like you know I don't mind it but I'd prefer it if they would be separate and it wouldn't be in the pan but at some point I realized that that was really just because I was copying what all my other favorite youtubers were saying and it was not really my opinion I just didn't have an opinion yet you know and um, and at some point then once I felt secure enough with myself, by the way, yeah, I know the Band-Aid, it's, it's one for kids, but that's all I had. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but okay, back to the topic, um, because at some point I realized that I want to try this. I want to see what it does to me, if it fits to me, if I can wear it, because it is sort of also, it depends a little bit on how your eyes are set and everything, you know, how they 
how your eyes are in your face. You know, if you have hooded eyes and it can be more problematic or if you're older, it can be more problematic. So I just wanted to try. And then I head over heels fell in love with it. And then I kind of found the joy in a being different even in our little small youtube community um, the smaller beauty youtubers okay where basically there are most of them that prefer not to use press litters or actually really despise them and i started to actually feel really really cool about being different and actually really really love it you know so just wanted to say that there has been a development and i i found out quite late that i actually really really like this you know i would say maybe it is probably a year ago or maybe maximum two years ago that i fell in love with glitters now every glitter is not the same you know there are different formulas and while i personally always try to make everything work there are different formulas that you know, some work better and some work maybe not as good as the better ones, <laughs> you know. So I'm going to show you my most favorite formulas that I have as of right now when I'm filming this in my collection. Of course, I have many, many more, but I just wanted to show you a few. Okay, now let's go into the pros, why I personally love the pressed glitters, okay? Just when I say pressed glitter, again, we can always just substitute that for loose glitter but still my preference is pressed glitter because then I don't need to use a glitter glue because glitter glue tends to crease on me and that is just not my preference but I like loose glitter too it's just not as easy to use for me personally okay so I have a list I'm very very old-fashioned I still write my own lists okay one of my pros is it always looks spectacular on me okay i know this is super super um personal i know but because i'm telling you my pros so i'm just saying it looks always spectacular on me i love it it just is so so sparkly and pretty and makes everything so special and yeah and especially when you have a day where it's like everything is dragging and everything is like ah oh, you know put some glitter on put some glitter on you know so yeah uh, i personally um i love it it's just so good for me okay my next point is that it is actually rather inexpensive and um I know there has been the criticism that if there are pressed glitters included in a palette, the palette should really be less expensive. So I don't know. I'm not into creating makeup. I don't I like. I wish I could be, but <laughs> as of right now, I'm not. Um, so I cannot really judge that. But I think it is rather inexpensive compared to like multi-chromes or I don't know what, right? So it is rather inexpensive and I personally also like it if it is included in a palette, if it's not like super, super overwhelming, okay? All right, then the next point is it always amps, amps up a look, okay? So you can go, even when it comes to neutrals, and I'm going to show you an example in just a second, you can go from a super, super gentle daytime look, if, of course, gentle daytime looks is what you do, and then towards the evening you want to just turn it into a more smoky and dramatic evening look, you can do that with browns, you know? You can do that with neutrals and then just adding a neutral glitter. So let me give you an example. So this is the palette, the one palette that Tati Beauty came out with. I think this brand doesn't exist anymore. I would assume so. I think the last post on on Instagram of Tati Beauty was about a year ago. So I assume that this is not <laughs> happening anymore here with this brand. But this is the one palette that they came out with or she came out with. And I actually received this from one of my super, super good friends from Christine from Australia, which is being mentioned on my channel like all the time. <laughs> So anyway, uh, yeah, so she gave me this palette and I was so, so glad that I got to try this because I also had heard different uh, opinions about this palette, you know, and a lot of people also of the YouTubers that I'm following said that they like the palette, but the fact that there is a whole row of pressed glitters is just too much for them, you know, it's not worth the money because they're not going to use it. Okay, but what I want to show you with this palette is, for example, that you can do a super, super gentle super gentle um, neutral look daytime look and then towards the evening just deepen it up with a little bit of brown and then put something like this uh, glitter, glitter like this on your lid 
and you're done you know you know what I'm saying now is this the palette that I'm using the most no I don't really as of right now have a to go to a neutral palette because I'm barely doing neutral looks these days but um, it is definitely a good formula and I personally also really really liked the, the glitter formula in this in this palette maybe I could swatch this because this um, formula is super super creamy and usually I am not really uh, swatching pressed glitters uh, with my finger I have to say usually I'm using a brush I'm using a small concealer brush I always feel the outcome is better but with this formula here of Tati Beauty you can actually um, do it super super well yeah so I don't know if this was uh, the right shade maybe I should have chosen a darker one but you can see how gentle this is you know so and, and that is my point that you even with neutrals can amp up your look without going overboard and without being obnoxious like me you know okay so that is just what I wanted to show you and soon I'm going to show you more palettes okay next one is it is usually super super buildable you can go from just a hint to being completely opaque and that is also something that I really really like now I personally always put either a shimmer shade or a matte underneath my pressed glitter because I think that is always sort of being on the safe side especially when I'm working with new brands which I'm constantly doing and I don't know yet how the pressed glitter is going to react how the binder feels and all of that it is always a good idea to just um, have it on top of some other shade in case the opacity is not building up to what you want but usually I feel like um, it is usually really really buildable and you can go to complete opacity with press letters and I personally really really like that that there is such a range in what you can play with okay and then the other thing is actually playing with the placement and the color because you can go from completely fairy like looks just a tiny little bit of sparkle very very soft colors all of that to completely evil you know to like a maleficent look with pressed letters and of course with the color and of course with the placement and I think that is so spectacular because it just adds one more thing to my creativity you know it just gives me more tools to play or more toys to play <laughs> you know and that is so so cool because I just need that I need that for my creativity to have more um, that's why I find like small palettes so limiting because I always feel like I need more I need more that is my concept in life sorry but be glad you're not married to me it is not easy okay so now let me go to the one con that I actually have and that is cleaning the falsies uh, that is a bit of a challenge <laughs> I know I have heard people say use tape and use this and that uh, nothing works for me nothing nothing so what I do is actually and I know this ruins over time it de definitely does ruin the lashes but again I'm not using super expensive lashes I'm ordering my lashes from Aliexpress and I'm paying like three dollars for ten pairs or something like this you know so uh, that's why I don't care if I'm using them five times or ten times or you know or just two times okay so what I'm doing is I'm using just a, a black a black gel liner this one is from Maybelline but it doesn't really matter because I'm not using this on my eye I'm only using this in order to basically draw a layer of this over the rest of the glitter that is still stuck in my lashes and this is how I make it work so yeah that is my my hack or does one say heck I think so so uh, in order to just always use my lashes again because otherwise I cannot I cannot stand there and brush and try to get out the glitter that that's just impossible yeah so anyway that is what I do it works super well for me if if you want to try feel free to try and let me know if it works for you other than that there is not a single con in my world there's not a single one because I love it. There is no reason for me to um, to not love it. The thing is, though, I have to be completely fair and say that I am not allergic to anything. I'm not sensitive to anything. I'm just like, a, I don't know, I'm a battleship when it comes to makeup, you know? <laughs> like, um, So I'm really, really blessed when it comes to this. I know a lot of people are super, super sensitive to different formulas in eyeshadow in general or also when it comes to glitters. So then, of course, I cannot speak for that. I'm only speaking for myself. Okay, now let me show you a couple of the brands that I'm 
that I'm liking to use the most. I don't know if that's proper English, but yeah. Um, when it comes to glitters. Uh, let us start with Style Cosmetics because as you all know, if you're here on my channel for quite some time, you know that I love, love, love Style Cosmetics in general, but also their pressed glitter formula. And I also actually have a, um, I think it's a six shade bundle of their loose glitters. And that is also super, super nice. Really, really nice. Okay, so uh, here we have the XOXO Hugs and Kisses palette. I think this was limited edition. Uh, when when did this come out? I think in October 2020, but I could be wrong. But this was limited edition, an all pink palette. I have so many palettes from Style Cosmetics. Like seriously, I want to say I have at least six palettes from Style Cosmetics, and I think I have the seventh on the way. So. <laughs> Yeah, just saying, you know, this is for me personally a super, super top-notch formula. Also with the mattes, also with the shimmers. Shimmers are like normal, normal shimmers. They are not like super bold or when it comes to the formula, they're just normal shimmers, which is good. You know, there is nothing wrong with having a good solid formula. And then of course you have these amazing glitters. Now within the glitters, you also of course have different formulas. You have the more chunky ones and then you have the more finely milled ones. Maybe you can see that, for example, this one here, this one and this one, um, I'm going to just hold it a little bit closer into the camera, that they are a little bit more, um, I always want to say it's like, um, like a gooey. <laughs> texture this is not my preference because they are super super finely milled and when you put them on it actually when you apply them right they actually look like you're just having a shimmer shade on your on your lid or wherever you're putting it and that's not my preference because if I am wearing pressed glitter or glitter in general then I want it to be clear and no doubt about it that I am actually wearing glitter on my face you know so um so I like the more coarsely coarsely milled ones better and even more chunky ones but usually you find that more in loose glitters of course yeah okay so let's maybe also swatch one of these but I don't know honestly um, how they swatch with the hand or with the finger because I have not tried that when I review these palettes I always swatch them with a with a brush but yeah it's not it's not horrible I should give you the comparison really how they swatch with the brushes but here you have a very very nice sweet gentle pink shade so so cute i'm also going to of course include the swatches in a close-up later on okay so that was um style cosmetics and again super super nice formula and i want to let me just skip through my palettes I have another brand that I've also just recently featured, which has a very, very similar um, feel to it, like Style Cosmetics, and that's Delightfully Flawless. This is the Glam and Gorgeous palette. I do have a review up on my channel <laughs> of this palette. And I have another one that I haven't worked with yet. But anyway, let me just also swatch this for you. Um, I would say they are um, almost like on the same level of me liking them, you know? Um, I think here I should really swatch with a brush because because it's just necessary. Let me just do this. I'm going to use the brush that I used this morning when I created my look because, I don't know, for me it always works better to use a brush. But that might be just also a very, very personal thing. But I think um, I think it makes sense that when you have a, a flat concealer brush that that just presses on the pressed glitter in a much better way. Okay, so this doesn't swatch so well, I have to say. At least not in one go. One can, of course, build it up and then it looks super, super nice. But um, the shade is really, really beautiful and also the performance on the eyes was really, really nice. Okay, so anyway, this is how it looks. It's a purple with a green blue shift. It's a really, really pretty one. Okay, so now let's go to the brand that I'm actually wearing today and also, of course, to the palette that I'm wearing today. I did my first look with the Green Goddess palette from Makeup My Next Cosmetics. Uh, this is how she looks. I used uh, these two shades and then this one for underneath the glitter and then this glitter. And then under my eye, I actually used this shade and this shade and of over this one, I put this purple pressed glitter. Now this is again the more finely milled formula and this is a more coarse formula and I really really like it. Now let's try to swatch this with the finger. Let's just try because it could be that it works. 
yeah it works pretty well honestly so this is beautiful this is also like a multi-chrome it has I would say a warm green a cool green a yellow what else does it have even orange it has all kinds of stuff in it and I think you can see how super super great this looks for someone who loves glitter of course <laughs> yeah so that's the palette that is going to come up on my channel first look with that palette then of course I also want to show you this one because that is another palette from Makeup Manics Cosmetics that is the Velvet Dances palette which looks like this you also have a breast glitter in here and um, I'm just also going to swatch this one with my finger and see how this one works this one is a blue one. This seems to be a very, very similar formula, which just makes sense, but just wanted to try because I'm here to play, as you all know. Um, yeah, oh, this is such a beautiful blue, seriously. It's like a blue turquoise um, with a slight, tiny little bit of a green, I think. Absolutely beautiful. So, so cool. Yeah. So um, maybe you notice that I am absolutely into this. Okay, Glam Now and Smoke Later palette from Lucky Lashes is also one of my most favorite glitter formulas. You do have two breast glitters in this palette right here. One is more finely milled, that's this one. And this one here is definitely my preference. So that's the one I'm going to swatch because it's a little bit more coarsely milled. Mm. <laughs> so gorgeous so gorgeous now also know that I have nothing on my arm okay I didn't even do extra skincare on my arm which I usually do when I am doing swatches but I have absolutely nothing zero on my arm okay <laughs> yeah okay then also definitely definitely Jolie Beauty Jolie Beauty is a UK based indie brand absolutely love her eyeshadow palettes which one wait have I showed you <laughs> This is how she looks. This is the Sorceress palette. Let us maybe swatch, hmm, which one? I don't know, the silver? Maybe, maybe the silver. Unfortunately, after I had worked like for three or four times with this palette and always using the pressed glitters and then also featuring it on camera and making a mess and swatching it, I'm almost really panning the pressed glitters already, which is a shame. But uh, look how this swatches, like even with the finger, it's spectacular. Wait, I need wet wipes. Wet wipes. <gasps> okay, so let me just clean myself up because really, <sighs> such a baby. Okay, like that. Okay, so this is another beautiful, beautiful formula. I also have the Intergalactic palette, which was the one before this one, and it's a beautiful palette, super, super nice. Okay, then another one that is a super beautiful and it's the first time I tried a pressed glitter from that brand. That is Rebel Rogue Labs. And they came out, I think in, I think in September 2020 with the um, Howlin' For You palette and there was actually one pressed glitter in it. And this must be, I think, my most, my most favorite palette from Rebel Rogue Labs. It's beautiful. And this one here is of course the pressed glitter, which is also a multi-chrome pressed glitter. Let me just see how that swatches with the finger because again I'm not always sure if I did that on camera when I reviewed the palette or if I used the brush because usually 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 I'm using brushes but this actually swatches super well too and this one is so so multi-chrome it actually goes with every single shade in the palette I can see like a burgundy I can see an orange I can see a green uh, like seriously you know super super cool yeah so that is Rebel Rogue Labs then I wanted to show you a pretty new edition that you have not yet seen featured on my channel I think and that is this one this is the glaze palette from Lorella Cosmetics so Lorella Cosmetics is I believe also a UK based brand and this is an all glitter palette <laughs> Yeah, I know. So I got this as a gift, um, also from Christine, who ordered this for me, and I'm so grateful because I personally would probably at this point not go and order for myself an all-pressed glitter palette because I have so many and I like it when they are in the palette mixed with other things, but it gave me actually another reason to play and I only figured that out while I was sitting down and trying to think what I'm going to do now with this, how I'm going to create looks that make sense because it actually 
actually made me go back to a whole lot of other palettes all matte palettes or whatever you know to just create more looks with those palettes and that makes a lot of sense you know so yeah and also the formula was really really nice which one should we swatch maybe this one here this is kind of a malef maleficent kind of a shade <laughs> like a, a really nice red with like a dark undertone to it okay again have not swatched this i've used it on my eyes in three looks but um i have not done a review or anything or swatches but this this here is <laughs> a bit clumsy but yeah so this is how it looks and i think you can see that this is also a super super nice shade right yeah, and here you have just so so much to play with, you know, and if you do have a lot of all matte palettes or a lot of palettes where you don't have pressed glitter and usually you also don't buy palettes that include pressed glitter, then something like this makes absolute sense, you know? Yeah, so that is that gave me a lot more than I thought it would and that is so so nice because even at my level of What I'm doing here on my channel also my level of the my makeup collection It is actually so so nice to still get surprised and to step out of what you thought You do do you know what I mean? Maybe you do yeah, okay now my most favorite my most favorite formula of pressed glitters I have to say is in this palette. This is the summer on earth palette from alien cosmetics You do have uh, these two pressed glitters here and I'm going to swatch them now again I don't know how they swatch by hand. I have not done that yet when I reviewed this palette um, I definitely used a brush, but yeah I think I'm even going to swatch both of them because yeah not that the other ones are bad as I said these are all my most favorite formulas you know but um, Alien Cosmetics rocked it rocked it with a rocket ship with this palette yeah I mean they also do have of course mostly palettes that don't have breast letters but this one um, really blew me away absolutely blew me away this palette i don't know if that is still available honestly i mean they have come out with so many palettes since but um yeah so pretty yeah so this is how they look oh i don't know is there anyone who is not happy to look at this <laughs> I can't imagine how that how that must be okay so let me just quickly show you all of this close up and then we're going to meet here and chat a tiny little bit more Okay, sweeties, I wonder, I wonder what you're thinking now. If you are not into wearing glitters, if you might want to consider it, you know? I mean, again, you do not need to be super colorful. You can go absolutely neutral with these ones. Maybe I should swatch another one of the Tati Beauty ones that are a little bit darker. Uh, maybe one of the, um, of the brown ones, you know? Now that I've already <laughs> filmed the close-ups of the swatches, but... Um, this is just it is so so pretty even with neutrals you know I just <sighs> I cannot get enough of this you know I cannot personally get enough of this and that's why I'm also so so happy that I found Steph because she's into it and I don't have a lot of YouTube friends who are actually into it <laughs> You know yeah I think um, it was a spectacular video just to sit and and chat about uh, this obsession <laughs> because it's just so so nice to uh, connect over makeup and to uh, chat about our likes and also about our dislikes I mean I, I know that this is not for everybody I know that most people probably are not into it or would prefer that they are not that glitters are not included in a palette and would maybe come as a um, as a tiny quad next to the palette in a set or something so they can choose not to have it it all makes sense and I'm not judging that at all um, 
it's just that for me personally in my life it makes so much sense and it makes me so so happy so yeah feel free to let me know what you think what your experiences are and also of course if you have brands where you absolutely adore the pressed glitter formula or also what kinds of uh, glitter glues you like to use you know because I have the one from NYX creases on me like crazy I'll, I never use it I never do you know so anyway if you have any suggestions please feel free to let me know and of course you will find my makeup of today listed in the description box down below all my discount codes that I have with the different brands by the way I do have one with Makeup Manix Cosmetics I don't know if I mentioned it before but in case you want to order something then that is what you can use if you want to and besides that also the links to my social media in case you're interested for more looks especially makeup content Leora Cosmetics Instagram this is where it all happens okay sweeties now that we are all done please feel free to subscribe to my channel because that would absolutely make my day and besides that of course go to Steph's channel and uh, watch her video and I will do that too right now <laughs> okay so sweeties let's meet over there at Steph's channel and uh, if you like it there then please subscribe to her too because the girl could definitely need all of our support okay sweeties this is it i will see you here next time for my next video which is gonna be tomorrow and up until then definitely go ahead and sparkle hugs and kisses bye